Hey everyone, I'll be covering all of the Nintendo Switch's game announcements for the fourth week of January, so let's get started. The co-founder and creative director for Sky Children of Light has confirmed that the game will get a Switch release later this year with crossplay in mind for all the current gen consoles. Soar and explore seven dreamlike realms to uncover the mysteries while socializing and expressing yourself freely in an ever-changing world. Bandai Namco is calling Captain Zubaza Rise of the New Champions an arcade football action game for all ages. Enjoy scoring goals while performing dream skills against opponents at high speed. Experience the thrilling bouts you've grown accustomed to in the popular anime with cel-shaded visuals and an all-new story. In Turing Test, you play as Ava Turing, an engineer for the ISA, sent to discover the cause behind the disappearances of the ground crew in Europa. Via first-person perspective, puzzles solve the station's AI security systems while attempting to piece together what took place before your arrival. The Sanders is an extreme downhill mountain biking game for the modern era, with procedurally generated worlds where mistakes have real consequences. Pick an easy route to make it down the hill or choose a real challenge, then use the freestyle bike controls to suddenly move down the path of least resistance. The successful Kickstarter project for Thieves Roulette combines the choice-driven narrative selections that will impact the story, told through a visual novel-style look mixed with first-person puzzle solving. Nights and Bikes is an action-adventure game about two kids exploring an English island in the 1980s, looking for treasure, fun, and some mischief on the side. Face hazards, puzzles, and the gathering forces of an ancient curse, all while exploring and playing in local co-op with up to two players. Kingpin Reloader brings new life to the Quake 2 engine classic via up-res visuals, ultra-wide support, improved gameplay, multiple controller support, new quests and conversation systems to feel much more engrossed in the gritty underworld. Work together to battle giant sea creatures or take each other's pirate ships out in the party-like setting battle mode in Voxel Pirates, the fourth Voxel-like entry from Setbox Entertainment. Take control of a hotel located in the Inferno Afterlife, while you'll manage a tycoon style and accommodate fiendish creatures all while attempting to fulfill their wants and needs in Hotel Afterlife, set to release this winter. Solve a myriad of cases in this mystery shogi game. Focus on one case at a time or go ahead and challenge every suspect to get answers out of them one game at a time. Rain on Your Parade is a comedic game with an increasingly level of silliness. Explore an open world, discover secrets and solve puzzles, but more importantly, create chaos with all of the powers of a cloud, like rain, thunder, tornadoes and more, when it releases later this year. Rush along futuristic neon tracks in Music Racer. The racetrack is created in real time based on the tune, and the speed and mood of each run will be determined by the compositions you choose. Dystopia is a modern shmup with several classic twists, where each new world you come across throws in unique experiences to trip you up. This shmup's difficulty will constantly adjust automatically to match your own skill. Advance through six explorable zones while looting chests, discovering secrets, and getting stronger in Regnum. Each area introduces new elements with its own twist to shake things up. Hayato wakes up in a game world in the visual novel Ascendant Hearts that mixes JRPG and MMORPG tropes for comedic and gameplay effects. Explore several romantic routes from multiple endings. Sleep Attack brings in a new twist to tower defense strategy games, where you can build static units on turning wheels and move them to defend a specific location much more fluidly. Enjoy rally matches across the globe in short burst or in-depth tournament modes in Super Tennis, releasing on the eShop January 27th. Keep in mind that this is not the SNES Classic. The minimalistic Sen Puzzler Sen 789 is all about recognizing patterns of numbers, colors, and shapes. You get no instructions, you get thrown into the fray right away, and you figure it out as you go. Milo's Quest is a puzzle adventure game with several difficulty settings and tons of collectibles to find. And that's what the game announcements will be covering this week. Nintendo's third quarter fiscal report is out next week, and we should expect to see something north of 52 million units sold worldwide. So with all that said, as per always, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate the support, and be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up. See ya!